Making safety a priority at work can seem complicated and time-consuming. But there's a single simple tool that can also make a huge impact toward eliminating the chance of being injured. It's fast, it's portable, it's free. It applies to any kind of work, in any kind of business, and even at home. It's a risk assessment, and most likely it's something you already do, at least informally, when you're not at work. You look for cars before backing up in the parking lot. You scan for toys left out on the stairs before you step. You evaluate the ground under your ladder before you climb. Chances are, you've paused and said to yourself, someone could get hurt. That hesitation is a risk assessment. What if you turned this subconscious activity into a more deliberate one and applied it to the work you do each day? It could make a big difference in your safety in a place where the risks are likely even greater. According to the National Safety Council, a worker is injured on the job every seven seconds. Many of those injuries are caused by hazards that could have been reduced or eliminated altogether. But the truth is, even the very best safety equipment and protocols can't compare to the value of simply noticing, then removing the risks when possible. And that's where risk assessment comes in. And practicing risk assessment can make you the most valuable member of the team, whoever or wherever you are. How do you perform a risk assessment? Well, it's as simple as jotting down the answers to three questions. One, what are we going to do? Two, how could we get hurt or damage equipment? And three, how can we prevent those injuries or damage? It's really that simple. The first question, what are we going to do? Sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised by what it can reveal. Discussing a day's task and putting it in writing gets all team members on the same page and usually uncovers differences in what everyone is thinking. This question helps clarify who's involved in the task, how the various parts will be accomplished and in what order, the equipment you'll use, what the task looks like complete, and more. The next question, how could we get hurt or damage equipment, probably has at least several answers, from minor to more extreme. If you've performed a task many times, you might have seen someone get hurt already. That's an easy start to your list. As you continue to identify risks, make sure everyone contributes to answering this question. Something one person notices may be very different from the next. The last question, how can we prevent those injuries or damage, is where the written risk assessment produces action. And it's another question that's best answered with some good discussion and collaboration. Often, risk preventions are easy to implement, but also easy to overlook. And sometimes, you can't eliminate a risk, but just talking about it makes everyone more aware to look out for themselves and each other. What are we going to do? How could we get hurt or damage equipment? And how can we prevent those injuries or damage? These three questions make up a simple risk assessment that can take minutes to perform, but save countless hours and costs in the long run. And since you've written them down, you can refer to them the next time the same task is on the docket. So, we promised a safety tool that's quick, free, portable, and effective. And now you have it. Now, take the lead, in your workplace and in your home, at spotting and reducing risk. For more information on becoming a risk-spotting, safety-promoting MVP, check out the many resources at Montana State Fund.